Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to uh, look at a few tools briefly in SolidWorks assembly that helps basically speed up and improve the performance of computer memory, uh, card graphics, and so on uh, to uh, be able to manipulate the assembly or perform different tasks on it faster, especially when the assembly is very large, right? In SOLIDWORKS, there is a threshold for large assemblies, and that is when you have more than 500 parts or components in the assembly. But many times you might not be at 500, but your computer resources are not fast enough, not large enough to handle, let's say, 400 components, 200 components, and so on, and you want to speed it up. So I want to show you a few tools here. And uh, here I downloaded an assembly with... Um, some parts it's not really a ton from GrabCAD. So here is that drill machine that is um, developed by Anoop Chauhan, if I'm not pronouncing uh, the name incorrectly. So credit goes to this person for creating the assembly. I'm just showing it for the basically demonstration those demonstrating those features and those tools. So here we're going to look at this and this GrabCAD is, by the way, an amazing resource for tons and tons of CAD files, which are freely available to you. So here we go ahead and uh, open this uh, assembly here. OK, the drill press and the number of components is, again, not even close to 500, but it's good enough to uh, show some demos. So you see even here on my computer, a Core i7 with good RAM, good cache and everything still takes some time even to open this. Okay. And uh, you can improve some of that in general um, by using these uh, tools and uh, commands that I'm about to show you. So here is the assembly and let's not rebuild it for now. So... Uh, the first thing that can help you big time is this guy here called large assembly setting, okay? That will suppress some of the graphics and suppress some of the graphics features to speed up uh, dealing with the assembly. So um, once this is over, then you're going to see that becomes activated. So that's one of the things. The other thing you can use is the speed pack which is a configuration you can add, even if it's not available by uh, normally under configurations, you can add that. Again, that is a version of the assembly that has some features suppressed, the features that are not super critical. And you can pick even which features to suppress, which features to keep. And this is really good when you want to insert this big sub assembly into even a bigger assembly. This speed pack configuration can be really useful. Okay. And uh, if you want to know which one of these components is taking a lot of time to open and everything, you can always go to evaluate and you can click on this guy performance evaluation. So if you click here, it brings this performance evaluation window for you. If an item is green, means you're good. If there are some yellows, they are giving you a warning. So look, here it says three uh, parts were suppressed, three files. But look here, this is an important part. The opening of the document, and it shows how much time it takes. So if you look here, the base is the one that is taking a lot of time, like 21 seconds just to open. But the other ones, you see, two seconds, less than a second, and so on. So in this case, it's that base that is a dominant file here. And that takes a lot of time. So if you want to improve opening this file and manipulating it, you have to probably work on the base, okay? Because clearly base here is taking a lot of time to um, open. And then here you can also see the number of uh, graphics triangles, right? And you can see this file here called Mandarin SLDPRT. It has about 5.1 million triangles. Okay, so those files are the ones that can slow your system down. And you want to take a look into that. So here you can see that I have about 87 parts or 87 components. Okay, 
and for the unique 41 unique files so here in 2500 bodies so although it's not super large still is big enough to slow me down so one of the things you can do now as i said under assembly is you go here and turn this guy on it activates by itself uh, if you have more than 500 components but if you want to activate it right now look at the graphics okay look here what i have and then see what happens when i do large assembly here we go where we go you see a lot of those edges and all of those graphics that were on the way they are simplified now and so now you should be able to handle this file a lot better by the way when you open the file you can already open it in large assembly settings so look here when you go and open and let's say here i go for an assembly right when you click on it you see here it says use large assembly settings so you can open it with that already activated or if there is a speed pack generated for the assembly then you can use the speed pack instead of the original assembly okay so as i said the speed pack is a configuration that is much simpler it doesn't lose any reference from part to part and uh, it's basically a speeded up version of the assembly by suppressing a bunch of things so you can open up in any of these to handle uh, larger or you can open up this one look here lightweight so basically uh, this is a faster than resolve mode so this is another mode that you can open and uh, or large design review okay so if you want to because this is the default resolved so it brings every single data make sure everything is good and then open it that's why it's slow but if you want to open it fast without suppressing anything so this lightweight and large design are not really suppressing anything but uh, they allow to um, open faster okay so you have these two or you can go with a speed pack or large assembly so you have several options to handle opening the file faster or as i said large uh, assembly or speed pack are not just for opening but for manipulation and performing other tasks they are faster so this is what this is the uh, large assembly setting okay let me show you a couple of other things so the other one that i want to show you is a speed pack how would you create a speed pack configuration because you don't have it and here if you click on this and say update speed pack sub assemblies well this one doesn't have any so although it says hey it might take a lot of time there is nothing here so when you click on it say hey there is no speed pack sub assemblies so guess what you are not really going to what going to see anything but if you want, you can convert this whole thing. And there is no sub-assembly in here altogether. But if, you, if there was sub-assembly in it, you can always go ahead and uh, create a speed pack for them. How? You go to the Configuration tab, Configuration Manager. And this is what you do. You right-click on this default and say what? Add speed pack. Okay? And when you do that, it is going to take some time to create a speed pack configuration for that and here is your chance to what so these are you can pick manually which faces which bodies which features to include right and or you can use this button here enable quick include and you have this slider in general to move to do include more or include less okay so you have this uh, thing here so look if i click here this one automatically decides which things which features to include which bodies to include which one not and you see the progress bar is going and you can create a speed bag um, basically uh, configuration and one of the things that you want to also check is this option here called remove ghost graphics okay that can also simplify the graphics a lot more okay so when it's over now you have this bar and you can basically include more or less and you can remove the ghost graphics here okay and then you okay that and it should be able to generate for you if you go here now you have a speed pack here okay 
So uh, this is the SpeedFAC configuration. Now, of course, we took so much off, right? So we can always go back to edit and basically edit what to include, what not to include. And whenever you edit that, you also need to update it. That's one of the things you have to do about the speed pack that uh, you have to update it. And then uh, if you also import them into a bigger assembly, you also need to update them. So here we are back and I'm going to include more in it, right? So you see, for instance, if I go from here to here, these parts are not super critical. It's more like a basically container for these components. They are not playing much of a role in assembly. So I can get rid of those and then create the speak bag with those. And so it's basically in the order of importance that it picks which component to include or what features of them to include. So you can always go here and pick what is it that you want to include or you don't want to include. So now you can kind of see that these areas are kind of um, transparent and they are not super critical anymore because, of course, they are basically not playing a major role in the assembly. Another thing that you might see missing are those uh, belts, right? So you don't see the belts here. There was something here, right? Yeah, I just here put them next to each other so we can see it in some picture. So this is the original one we brought in. This is the large assembly and this is the speed pack with some features removed. So you can clearly see that compared to large assembly, the speed pack, you have a lot more control, right? And you see some features are gone here. So again, you have the option to include anything you want or not and get a speeded version of the part. Okay. So the last tool I want to show you is called Simplify. So here we go to, to Simplify, we go to Tools, and then we go to uh, Find Modify, and then we use the Simplify tool. And you get this window where it allows you, based on a simplification factor, to suppress features based on their parameter or based on their volume, and you can opt out the ones that are affecting the assembly mates. I always do that because I don't want the ones that are affecting the mates to be uh, suppressed. And then you can pick what is it that you want to be studied and provide a simplification factor between 0 to 1. So let's say 0.5 feature parameter, ignore and find for me those features with the simplification factor 0.5 that are not affecting the mates and they might be uh, suppressed without affecting anything. And it is going to find them for you. There we go. Look, there is a big list here. And uh, let's say if you go here, right, or here or here, there are stuff that uh, you can basically suppress and you can right click and suppress them. Okay, or you can pick all and suppress them see what happens okay so here they're all suppressed and you don't see really much of a difference if you look at it but there are lots of these features that are suppressed to make your uh, operation faster and more efficient and if you look at them a lot of them are fillets actually fillets are not doing anything mostly for any assembly and they are slowing the system down badly. So when you're dealing with assemblies, you want to basically uh, suppress a lot of fillet chamfers and so on because they are not performing anything. So the simplification tool can be very useful. Okay, hopefully this video was useful to you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.